Electric cars and the environmental impact. Electric vehicles emit more carbon during production but gain advantage after 19,500 miles. They generate zero tailpipe emissions and can reduce life cycle emissions by 61% compared to hybrids when charged with renewable energy. However, battery production raises concerns about water usage, labor practices, and minimal recycling rates. Your location greatly impacts EV benefits, clean electricity grids maximize environmental advantages while coal-dependent regions offer fewer benefits. The full environmental picture reveals important nuances beyond simple comparisons. The carbon footprint, EVs versus gas vehicles. While comparing the environmental impact of electric and conventional vehicles, evaluating their carbon footprints reveals significant differences throughout their life cycles. EVs initially generate higher emissions, 11 to 14 metric tons CO2, during manufacturing compared to gas vehicles, 6 to 9 metric tons, primarily due to battery production. However, this manufacturing deficit is quickly overcome during operation. Gas vehicles emit 400 grams CO2 per mile, accumulating 46 metric tons over 12 years, while EVs produce zero tailpipe emissions. You'll find EVs gain a carbon advantage after just 19,500 miles, about 1.5 years of typical driving. Your location matters too, EVs charged in renewable heavy grids can emit 61% less than hybrids, while grid improvements continue to widen this gap. Battery Production Challenges and Environmental Costs The environmental benefits of electric vehicles during operation present only part of their ecological story, as battery production introduces significant sustainability challenges. You'll find raw material extraction particularly problematic. Lithium mining consumes 65% of water in Chile's Atacama region while cobalt extraction often involves unsafe labor practices and deforestation. Manufacturing processes compound these issues. EV batteries require three times more cumulative energy than conventional batteries, with production emitting up to four tons of CO2 per unit in coal-dependent regions. China's dominant position in the supply chain, with 60% coal-powered electricity, further intensifies emissions concerns. End-of-life management remains inadequate, with 98.3% of lithium-ion batteries ending up in landfills versus only 5% being recycled, creating fire hazards and wasting valuable materials. How your location affects EV emissions. Living in areas with clean electricity generation fundamentally transforms your electric vehicle's environmental impact, creating significant regional variations in emissions profiles. Your EV produces near-zero life-cycle emissions in Norway or France due to hydro and nuclear power, while coal-dependent regions yield higher emissions but still improve urban air quality by shifting pollution away from population centers. Your charging location matters critically, California-charged EVs emit less than those charged in coal-heavy Midwest states. Even in fossil fuel-dominated grids, you'll reduce urban pollutant exposure through eliminated tailpipe emissions and regenerative braking capabilities that cut PM2.5 by approximately 25%. Local infrastructure availability further shapes these benefits, with dense charging networks enabling higher adoption rates in urban areas compared to rural regions with limited charging access. Efficiency Metrics, Understanding MPGU and Performance Understanding how electric vehicles translate electrical energy into distance traveled requires familiarity with MPGU, miles per gallon equivalent, a standardized metric that enables direct efficiency comparisons between EVs and conventional vehicles. The EPA established MPGU using the energy equivalents that 33.7 kilowatt hours equals one gallon of gasoline. You'll find this formula applied as MPGU equals miles traveled divided by energy consumed times 33.7 kilowatt hours per gallon. When examining vehicle specifications, look for energy consumption rates, kilowatt hour slash 100 miles, lower values indicate superior efficiency. EVs inherently benefit from powertrain efficiency advantages, with electric motors operating at approximately 90% efficiency compared to combustion engines 40%. This fundamental difference explains why even average EVs achieve impressive MPGU ratings, with top performers like the Tesla Model 3 reaching 140 MPGU in city driving.
Future Projections, the 2050 Emissions Landscape As global transportation systems undergo unprecedented electrification, projections for 2050 reveal dramatic shifts in emissions landscapes dependent on adoption rates and policy implementation. Two primary scenarios forecast between 866 million and 1.2 billion EVs globally, potentially avoiding 7.66, 9.76 gigatons of CO2 emissions. Road transport emissions could drop to 196 gigatons by 2060, a significant reduction from the 275 GT baseline projection. You'll see EVs becoming increasingly climate beneficial as grids decarbonize, with 2035 BEVs emitting less than or equal to 15 T CO2 EQ over their life cycle versus 38 T for ISEVs. Current policy commitments leave a 43 GT CO2 EQ reduction opportunity through accelerated ZEV adoption. Financial benefits align with environmental gains, with Scenario 2 projecting $15.54 trillion in operational savings by mid-century. Beyond the tailpipe, lifecycle environmental assessment. While tailpipe emissions represent the most visible environmental impact of vehicles, an extensive life cycle assessment reveals a more complex picture of electric vehicle sustainability. BEVs currently generate 46% higher production emissions than conventional vehicles, primarily from battery manufacturing and material processing. However, this manufacturing deficit is more than offset during operation. The use phase dominates life cycle emissions, with BEVs achieving 30% lower overall emissions than ISEVs today, projected to reach 60% by 2050 as electrical grids decarbonize. Challenges remain in resource consumption, with EVs requiring two to three times more critical raw materials per vehicle. Emerging strategies like battery second life applications and improved recycling infrastructure are essential to mitigate these impacts. Your vehicle's environmental footprint ultimately depends on both how it's made and how you power it. To conclude, you'll need to contemplate the complete life cycle impacts when evaluating electric vehicles. Your location's grid mix greatly affects your EV's carbon footprint. While battery production presents environmental challenges, EVs typically offset these impacts through operational efficiency gains. Focus on thorough metrics beyond tailpipe emissions to accurately assess environmental performance. Advancing battery technology and grid decarbonization will further enhance EV sustainability advantages. Thank you for listening and look forward to seeing you again in my next podcast. Goodbye for now from me Jenny Newton.